time again. It's that time to show you some Kai's clan. Let's get started. Okay, so first up on the left hand side, we've got the coding blocks. We've got newbie, expert, and we've also got a great search function. So I can just search for gripper, swing it over here, click on it, robot one, click run, and then the robot's going to open his grippers. Whoop. Next up is the classroom code. So over here on the top left, we've got the classroom code. Share that with parents and then they can view the virtual lesson and they can see the kids code come to life. Up in the center screen here we've got the referral code. And teachers, if you share Kai's clan, you can earn points and get free stuff. Over in the center screen here we've got run. We've got run once, loop forever and ever and ever. And we've got events. Events is like, hello, somebody interrupts your code. Well, that's what an event is, an interrupt. And we've got the dustbin over here, so I can throw code away over there. Next up is the map view that you see on my right-hand side here. So wherever the robot moves around on the mat, you get to see it in the map view. Also on this section is we've got the state. We can see the grippers are open or closed. We can see the distance value being reported on the screen as well. So there's a lot of data as well as Excel and stuff like that. Here we've got the sandbox mode. So we've got sandbox mode on the right hand side and we've also got a coding block section on the left. Sandbox mode allows us to create a virtual character in Minecraft or Tinkercad. Hey, you could even print out your Tinkercad creation, put it on the mat, stick one of these QR codes on top of your creation and see it come to life. We've got a virtual viewer and the virtual viewer allows us to see your code come to life as well. Right, next up is the console log. So what I can do is with a console log, I can put a code block in here and run forever. So print robot one's distance sensor and you can see that happening in the log. Next up is projects. So projects up here on the top right, I can see my projects that I've been working on. You can see I've been really busy. We've got Kai's projects for Mars and for all the different mats. And we've also got teacher created community um, projects. So yes, there's a lot of projects in here. And then if you click on this tab here, you can see the, the plan for the teacher and the lesson plan for the student. We've got the robot manager. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in Kai's plan. The robot manager manages your robot and commands these little guys. We can see the battery level. We can add sensors. Yeah. Student management. Paste your list of students in here and allocate robots to the students. Only one student at a time can drive one robot, much like a car. And I can also get remote assistance for the student so we can see what they're doing and how they're getting on. There's this function, Classroom Chat. So we can get our students all chatting to each other and working together like a community. If you find it too disrupting, you can turn it off, just like the mute button on this video. And thank you for watching, and until next time, a big high five!